I mean, it's probably the toughest schedule we've had since I've been here, uh, top to bottom. And I, I did it on purpose. I mean, we can't get home games. <laughs> Nobody's going to come in here and play. And it's just so we can either choose to go out on the road and play a low to mid-major school, or we can go out and choose to play a, a really quality program. And I have always believed that uh, we need to go play quality. I want to play the, the best teams we can. And, uh, you know, hey, I don't worry about a one-loss record in the preseason. I worry about how much better we're getting on a daily basis. Those games that we're going to play are going to make us better. And uh, you know what they say is uh, you can't win big if you're afraid to lose big. A lot of guys can play multiple positions. So Joel can play the four and the five. Byron can play the four and the five. Kendall can play the three and the four if we need to. So there's really in a lot of different combinations you might see. You know, we got some new guys, so you know they have to come along. You know, they, they have to pretty much get thrown in the fire, pretty much. So that they have to learn pretty fast. But other than that, I think we'll be fine. I like the blend of we got some veterans, we got some young guys. I'm excited about the talent of our young guys. Jeremy Singlin's going to be a very good player. Rashad Gittins is going to be a very good player. You know, there's going to be some growing pains early. You know, with our schedule and the teams we're going to go play, there'll be a few growing pains. But uh, we're just going to stay with them and get them better and better and better. And by league, I think those guys are going to be really big factors for us. Um, <clears throat> honestly, I think it's going to come down to um, doing little things every time. Um, a couple times we slipped up last year, and obviously that hurt us a lot. And big guy play, we only lost two games, but my town lost one. So um, it's going to have to be being more consistent every single night out, having that energy, uh, not coming out flat and having to fight our way back in games. The kids, on one hand, have had the last couple of years have, have had terrific seasons. We've just been one game short, and that sticks in your craw. And, uh, and we remind our guys of it all the time. And I've reminded this group of it a lot. Um, you know, we won 30 games last year, but we're still one game short of what we wanted to do. I'm proud of them for winning 30 games. It's school record, big sky record, all those kind of things. It's terrific, but we all want that other prize.